In 2013, he was chosen by his people to lead Zimbabwe for the next five years. And his colleagues in the SADC region also chose him to become the chairperson of SADC in 2014. And once again, at the African Union, his colleagues in Africa chose him to become the next chairperson of the AU in 2015. Hello and welcome to this special program, President Robert Mugabe at 90. My name is Tazen Mandizriza. And my special guest on the program is, of course, His Excellency the President, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe. Your Excellency, thank you for giving us this time. Thank you. Uh, although we are still having this discussion a day before your birthday, let me start mm -hmm. by saying congratulations on turning 90. Thank you. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet there, but uh, I hope I'll get there. Yes, Your Excellency. How is your health? As you can see, as fit as the people, a few inches here and there, and the left knee is beginning to be a bit of trouble, but uh, we are taking care of it. Then uh, cataracts have had one removed there from the right eye and I'm going to have this time uh, on the 20th the left eye treated in the same way. That's about all. Right, Your Excellency, let me take you to 1980. Mm -hmm. A young Robert Mugabe comes into office full of ideas, dreams of a better Zimbabwe and you've been working since then. But now let's come to 2014, the same Robert Mugabe. What drives you to wake up every morning and go to the office? What drives me? The work does. If you have uh, a task, you know, to uh, undertake, and uh, that task is an important one, like the task of government is, it, it has to address, you know, the problems of the country, uh, the development of the country, the various interests that are covered by our policy, and uh, you have a team to supervise. You have to be getting up every morning, and quite early for that matter, and you have to be getting to the office, not just for five days, but for a good seven days, and perhaps eight days in the week. Talking about uh, supervising and leading those that you work with, only last year you were in an inclusive government, mm. where you were with a partner that you managed to work with, but did not always agree with and uh, there were quite a lot of problems there. Mm -hmm. But today you are leading a ZANU-PF of government. Mm -hmm. what, do, what is the difference? How do you look at the inclusive and the government that you lead now? Oh, well, it is, it is that huge difference. In the uh, case of the GNU, you had a, a party whose policies are diametrically opposed to your own. And you had you know, to try and adjust so you could work together to see what areas there were uh, of agreement and possibly uh, even uh, uh, look at the areas of disagreement so you can circumvent them and uh, use the aspects that emerge from the uh, areas of agreement and, and, and use that. But uh, we, we had the requirement, constitutional requirement, to fulfill. We had not done well. The MDC had beaten us in terms of votes, and uh, Trangirai had scored 47%. I had managed to score 43%. We accepted that imbalance. But our constitution required that uh, um, if uh, the winner 
did not get an outrightly 50% plus, then uh, uh, there should be a rerun. And we did a rerun. My other partner, my partner or counterpart, uh, joined in the rerun as the opponent. And the, along the way, well, he developed cold feet and wanted to uh, withdraw, but it was impos impossible illegally for him to withdraw now. Uh, and, and so at the end of it all, I, I won the election. And I was uh, uh, then congratulated, and 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 I became president once again. Uh, but on the advice of our friends uh, in Sadik, who wanted to see, you know, some peaceful uh, settlement of our situation here and uh, feared that uh, if that didn't happen, perhaps uh, we, would, we would engage ourselves in fistics and uh, there would be a disturbed situation in Zimbabwe. Uh, they recommended that we create the government of national unity, which we did. And this is why we had to now decide to work with our opponents. And fortunately, they too were willing to work with us. Uh, we had to find each other, discuss with, with each other, perhaps insult ourselves in the first place, only for us to say, ah, okay, we have, we, <laughs> we have now done enough of insulting each other. Uh, let's now work together and respect each other. So at the end of the day, it was that respect for each other that carried, that carried us right through. And uh, we became friend, uh, friends again. And uh, we saw ourselves doing lots of things working on the constitution, a new constitution. True, it had to do lots of, of, of rounds and we had to be patient uh, because various views were expressed and various tactics, delaying tactics along the way. But they, at the end of the day, we got there we emerged with a new people-oriented, people-driven constitution. And then we had an election. Zanipi have won that election on the 21st of July, 2013. And here again. So that's why I'm here in State House, and that's why you're able to talk to me today. As, as president of Zimbabwe, uh, and the event is a happy one for our people and a happy one for our party, an unhappy one for the MDC and the other parties. But uh, we had expected that they would respect the decision of the people, uh, but of course defeat is, is very sour and painful, and uh, you take time to adjust to it. Uh, I, I, I hope in due course they, they too will adjust. I don't think them, I don't seek them 
a continuing this hardline way of re rejecting reality. What is the opinion of the people, if it's uh, an honest view, demonstrating that the people are of one accord, they want change. So let it be. We accepted the 43, 47%, you know, ratio in, in, in uh, 2008. That was a decision by the people. We didn't reject it. So here we are, once mm. again. Yes, Your Excellency, but uh, still in 2013, mm. did you sense victory? Were you confident that we were going to make it? Oh, 2013, yes, definitely. Definitely, we, we knew we were going to uh, uh, emerge victorious, as, as both parties put together a patriotic front, ZANU, ZAPU, uh, but in that configuration, ZANU would be the, the senior party and then ends up with the junior party. That was the choice of the people. But together, well, we, we had those seats. Uh, we had 80 seats to fight for, and uh, ZANU had 57. And this is up to 20, and put together, we had that uh, 77, I think. And uh, the whites had a block of 20, which could not be assailed, uh, protected, entrenched uh, for a good seven years, was it? And uh, no blacks, no non-white race could, could fight for those seats. And that was the wishes, that was the wish of the British to protect uh, the white settlers here, I suppose to give them comfort for a time. Mm -hmm. And so they had their 20 seats and put together, we had 77, they had that 20, and they did that. that made it 97, and uh, Reverend Mzorewa uh, was blessed with three 